Hey everyone, Felipe here. Welcome to another Tower Saviors card review video. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the newly improved Power Release version of Terry. In the past, I always thought Terry was a really good card and had really good utility, specifically for farming uh, items in the Traveler's Memories. Now that he gets a power release, we'll take a look at his leader skill, team skills, and active skills and let you know what I think about this card. So starting off, we'll have his leader skill, team attack times 8, HP and recovery is one, increases by 1.5. Upon the completion of basic, intermediate, or advanced, or specific stages in the traveler's memories, you will be rewarded with one extra item. Additionally, stage, stage clearing XP and stage clearance coins will both increase by 1.1 times. For his team skills, we have that uh, Power Release Terry, Terry, and Terrence will have their skill cooldowns become zero after entering the stage. All attack basic values of all members will be added to the leader's attack basic value, and only the leader will be able to launch an attack. Single attack will become full attack. So in my opinion, as a leader, I think Terry is definitely going to be easier to use specifically for the Traveler's Memories. His damage output is going to be really low, but that's expected for a free card. And I don't expect you to be using Terry for any Hell stages, Nightmare stages, Horror stages, or uh, Ultimate stages. However, being able to have an increased damage output for the Traveler's Memories is going to be really beneficial, especially because in the past, Terry lacked the damage output to clear specific advanced stages. Back in the day, I know I only used to clear intermediate stages because that was easier for me and then you could guarantee this drops um, because advanced stages were so hard and it wasn't worth spending the stamina to fail and fail again given that Terry had really low damage output. His damage output right now is going to be better, his team attack increases by 8 and he is going to absorb the basic value of all other members in the team. So if you put all super high attack uh, members in your team the leader's attack will increase by a significant amount and makes clearing the stages a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I do think as a leader, I think his only use is going to be again just to farm uh, items in the Traveler's Memories. Like I said, you will not be using him to clear end game content, but definitely is going to make farming for these items way, way, way easier. Uh, but yeah. So now let's take a look at his active skill. His active skill is a CD5 skill. Upon skill activation and each time the summoner enters the next wave, you will deal a sniper damage of 500 times the character's attack basic value to all enemies, regardless of defense and enchanted runestone shield. The skill stays in play until the activation or defeated, and upon the activation of the skill, remove all runestones to generate enchanted runes of all single type. My opinion this skill is actually pretty good cd5 is pretty fast the sniper damage it's pretty good and if you pair it up with his increased attack basic value from his team skill you are going to be dealing a really high sniper damage and what this means is that you're going to be able to clear traveler memory stages really fast and farm these stages really easily since you will be just sniping your way through every time you enter the next wave and this is going to be again farming for these items is going to be much more easier and specifically with this skill since it resets after entering the stage you will be able to just snipe all the enemies and clear the stage uh, basically automatic it is a move to basically introduce automatic stage clearing for TOS. I don't think full on automatic clearing is going to be introduced, but this is close enough where every time you enter a new wave, Terry will snipe the enemy and kill them just for you. Uh, for the deactivation skill, this skill is not able to deactivate at any time. So the flexibility on that is going to be a little bit um, difficult. So I do not recommend running Terry as a member card because there are so many better options out there with more utility and more um, to offer for your team. Uh, as a team member, Terry only offers a sniper and generating uh, enchanted runestones of all types, but you still have to wait 10 rounds before you're able to activate the deactivation skill since you cannot deactivate him at any time. So in my opinion, Terry 
definitely got an overhaul. He got better at what he does, and what he does is to allow you to farm items in the Traveler's Memories more efficiently. Uh, in my opinion, this is a really great improvement and definitely useful for people that are still working on Traveler's Memories or working on those um, AR um, evolutions for your cards. Man, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this card. Please let me, let me know in the comments if I said anything wrong or if I missed out on anything. And as always, stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more Tower of Saviors content. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone!